All right, Shalom Israel. This is the brother of Warba coming back to you again with another lesson. Before I get started, I want to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful and humble elect that's out there doing this work in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the planet Earth, spreading it gloriously across to wake up the hopeful elect so that we can get the heck out of this place, man. Out of these chains, out of this bondage. All right. Shalom to you, sincere Aquathium that are listening and that are tuned in as well. Shalom and greetings. All right. So today I was kind of meditating <clears throat> this morning on just all the promises and the things that the Lord has really given us, man. The Lord has really given us and what he's done for us in this walk. Okay. We also have a true shot, man, a true chance of actually being delivered out of this place and being saved from our enemies, you know. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to get right into it. This is uh, Philippians 3 and 3. And I'm going to start here. And hopefully this lesson is edifying. All right. So it says, this is Philippians 3 and 3. It says, for we are the circumcision which worship the most high in spirit and rejoice in Yahweh Shahamashiach and have no confidence in the flesh. We don't have any confidence in these in the things of this world, man. And the things that the people of this world care for, man. Our treasures are stored up, up in heaven. And our promises are with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright? Those of us that keep his sayings, man. Okay? Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any man if any other man thinketh that he hath whereof, he might trust in the flesh. I more circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel of the tribe of Benjamin this is Paul speaking <clears throat> Hebrew of the Hebrews as touching the law a Pharisee concerning zeal persecution the church or through the purse press Salakia Philippians 3 and 6 concerning zeal <clears throat> persecuting the church touching the rightness which is in the law blameless yeah so Paul did a lot of bad things man he, you know, he was, he was, he was persecuting the church and, and killing us, Jakes. You know that we're serving and worshiping Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Okay, but even Paul was able to come back after he was called by the Most High, because like the scriptures say, many are called but few are chosen. All right, but Paul was called to do the work of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh He was called to do the work of the Lord, man, and he listened. Okay. So, what I want to get to, I'm gonna jump by. I'm gonna jump down a bit because <clears throat> I'm not gonna make this lesson entirely too long. All right, I'm gonna drop down to 12, and it says, "Not as though I had already attained it, already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended for uh, Christ, uh, for Yahweh Hamasiah." So for whatever sake, okay, <clears throat> for whatever sake, I follow, Lord, even even though I'm persecuted and, and we, we go through things, we go through it for you, how wish I sake, man. We go through it even as he went through it. But the thing is to, to, to press toward the mark, man, to reach that line, to reach the finish line, to endure to the end so that we may obtain that incorruptible crown, you know, so that we may be perfect. In the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and to the world, because we shall be rulers over them. Okay? Alright, and it goes right into it. <laughs> um, verse 13, brethren, I count not I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of the Most High in Yahweh Shah Hamasiyah. Okay, let us therefore, as many, be perfect, be thus minded, and if any in anything ye be otherwise minded, the Most High shall reveal even this unto you. That's right, man, because he shareth his secrets with the prophets. Okay, he gives us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to be able to come out and teach the world and teach the nations the right way. Okay. <clears throat> So I'm going to drop down 
I'm gonna drop down to uh what's lock here. Gotta find that again, I just lost it. Uh, bear with me, brothers. And it is Philippians 3 and 21. Okay. So I'll go right here. It says <clears throat> I'll start up 18. It says for many for many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the Most High Hamasiach, whose end is destruction, whose Most High, whose God is uh, their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. That's right, man. You know this place is not our rest. It never was meant to be. Not here, at least. Not here in Babylon. So the Lord is going to set up a place for us that he's going to bring us to. He's going to remove us from this place and take us there and let us start over. And we're going to rule forever. Okay? Not for just a thousand years. Not for 50 years. But forever. And we shall no more see captivity again. But those who, whose end is destruction. Those are the people here, man, that are asleep. That decide to do their own thing. And that follow after the ways of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Those are counted as his enemies. Okay? For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamasiach, who shall change our vile body. Listen to this, Akiam. Who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glory, like unto his glorious body. According to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. So yes, man, that's a promise given to to the the men of the elect, man, to the elect men of the Lord. This is a promise, man. Why not fight for this? Okay, it says it says according to the working whereby he is able to even subdue all things unto himself. All things, man. That's spiritual power, baby. Who wouldn't want that? You know? And so, with that, Akiyam, I'm going to end. I just wanted to share a little bit of this in Philippians. That I've been meditating on. And uh, before I get out of here, I'm going to again give all glory, honor, and praise to where it is due. To Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who well that are continually pressing toward the mark and trying to get the heck up out of here. And with that, until next time, say Shalom.